Well, welcome to our video devotional for today, Friday, August the 6th, 2021. We've been talking all week about attitude, going to live the dream, our attitude has to be right. And I'm reading again and believing God that the Holy Spirit's going to turn the light on, Philippians 2, 1 through 11. You're just going to feel impressed. I got to live like this. And this is, this is just a fantastic scripture. Verse 1, Philippians 2. If you have any encouragement from being united with Christ, if any comfort from his love, if any fellowship with the Spirit, if any tenderness and compassion, then make my joy complete by being like-minded, having the same love, being one in spirit and purpose. Do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit, but in humility consider others better than yourselves. Each of you should look not only to your own interests, but also to the interests of others. Your attitude should be the same as that of Christ Jesus, who, being in very nature God, did not consider equality with God something to be grasped, but made himself nothing, taking the very nature of a servant, being made in human likeness. And being found in appearance as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient to death, even death on a cross. Therefore, God exalted him to the highest place and gave him a name that is above every name, that at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow in heaven and on earth and under the earth. And every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of of God the Father. May God bless his word to our hearts. May we thrive on what God says. So we've been talking about how to get the attitude of Christ. Surrender. We talked about that on Wednesday. Today, Yesterday, we talked about die daily. And today we want to talk about we've got to be renewed in our mind every day. The Bible calls this transformation. That's why sitting at Jesus' feet, and when I say sitting at Jesus' feet, I mean we get time in the Word, this is our devotional life, and we get time in prayer every day. And we're going to continue that throughout the day in these brief uh, times where we're giving praise to God, and these brief times where we're just giving praise to the Lord, and we're asking and petitioning of Him. We're spending time sitting at His feet, listening for His voice, and obeying in what He tells us to do. And sometimes he'll speak through the word of God and say, this is, this is the way you're to live, like Philippians 2, 1 through 11. This is the attitude we're to have. And at other times, we'll have read the word and later in the day or next week or the week following, Holy Spirit impresses upon us, I need you to be doing this. That's why placing a high priority over what we let enter our mind is so important. Remember how we talked about you get a thought, you sow an act, you sow an act, you reach a ha- reap a habit, and you sow a habit and you reap character. <clears throat> it, all that comes into our mind goes into the stored data area. Your, your brain is a phenomenal computer. And that stored data creates the responses that we have to the stimuli in our world. So what are we meditating on? What preoccupies our mind? Because our mind needs to be renewed daily. And I want to say right here, this book, the Bible, is what renews our mind every day. And it's a supernatural work, to, to say the least, that have our, have our minds renewed. And only the Holy Spirit renews, re-educates, and redirects our minds. And only then are we truly transformed. See, the Holy Spirit must wash the inner region of our mind from the rubble we've been collecting. The unforgiveness, the bitterness, the anger, the hurt that predisposes us to the groove of habit. And that must be cleared. And by the way, God's able to do that. I want you to hear this today. God's able to do that. He's able to renew your and my mind. Now, there's a lot of residual messes in everyone's life. Every one of us, we got, we have thought about things and stayed on those thought patterns way too long and they've created all kinds of messes for us. And these messes are leftovers from life's business that stockpiles like garbage in the city dump. You and I can be overwhelmed with it all and simply exist beneath the rubble or we can live a life of self-denial, self-sacrifice, humility, and the promotion of others and sit with Jesus in heavenly places. <laughs> Armed with the right attitude, the one like Jesus had on planet Earth, we can literally become balcony people on the planet. 
I challenge you today to live out Philippians 4, 8. Whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are noble, whatsoever things are right, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, dwell on these things. Think about these things. You see, to move to a new location in our mind requires a new surrender of our lives to Jesus. It requires a renewal, a rekindling, a uh, rejuvenation, a, a, a replenishing, a restoring, a, a regeneration of our mind. We must be transformed in our minds. It starts with the presentation of ourselves to, before the Lord. It's followed by renouncing our conformity to the, to the world and its lifestyle, living like them and acting like them. In the kingdom of heaven, wealth and power and authority are unimportant. Kingdom people, kingdom people, God people, godly people, followers of Jesus Christ, they seek different blessings and, and, and benefits. And they have different attitudes, praise God. So I gotta ask you a question because we've been going about attitude all week long. Are your, are your attitudes, the ones you carry with you every day and the ones people know you for, are they a carbon copy of the world's selfishness, the world's pride, and the world's lust for power? Or do your attitudes reflect the humility and self-sacrifice of Jesus, your King? Listen to me carefully. The Holy Spirit wants to work the work of transformation in your mind and my mind. The Holy Spirit will take the Word of God and restore God's design in our mind. He will have us be like Jesus only to do the will of the Father and to live for the Father's pleasure. So I got to tell you, today, today, if you're, if you're ready to represent your, or represent yourself to the Lord, I want, you to, I want you to either wherever you're at right now, lift your hands or get on your knees, whichever you, whatever you feel impressed to do by the Spirit of God, and, and put your hand over your heart and say, Lord, I surrender brand new. I present myself to you. I'm ready to die and I'm asking you to renew my mind today in Jesus' name. So Father, in the name of your, your Holy Son, Jesus Christ, do something in me. Do something in me. Help me be renewed in my mind today by the power of the Holy Spirit that my attitude would reflect that of Jesus Christ and be the same as his. Thank you. I praise you for doing this miracle in every one of us for your glory. Amen. Well, today's the day of transformation and you are being transformed by the Holy Spirit. Let it happen. Thank God for it. And let's move forward to reflect the same attitude of Jesus Christ in all that we do. God bless you.